What up, fish tank people? Fishtanktv.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. Your boy D's koi obsession, koi problem is only getting worse. It's not getting any better. Check out this koi pond and the whole setup with it that I saw with my boy Art a couple of days ago in Asheville, North Carolina. Drop me a comment on what you think. Enjoy. <laughs> All right, I'm stop it. Uh in Asheville, North Carolina. I'm with Art from Western Carolina Waterscapes. Look at this pond, holy shit. I walk in here, look at this view. I hope you guys can see this. I walk in here, Our Art's, Art maintains this pond. He wanted to show it to me. I saw this pond, I was like, oh, that's baller. This is a baller ass house. But look at this shit, Just look at this house. Look at this pond. Wow, dude, an infinity pool. Here, walk up there and get dude. out there. Oh my God, the koi pond's over here. We're gonna get to it in a second. But look at this. You talk about living it. This dude's got it going on. This is pimp as hell. So check this out. Just to show you the setting of this place. Ah. Uh. Damn. Oh my God, dude, these are beautiful. I want this. All right, I had no idea, dude. Did you put this punt? Wow. Oh my god, look at that. So is that a Kohaku or is that a Sanke with the dots? It's got, it's got black dots. It's uh, a Momotaro bread, Heisei Nishiki. Momotaro bread. With the lips. Stop, don't feed them too much. Stop feeding them. I want to get, get other videos feeding them. Holy cow. Dude, these koi are insane. Who's serious? I want all of this. There's some ugly stuff fish there. Walter, all bent up body. That Ogon Walter? is older than you. Walter's older than me? That dude right there, the yellow one? That's a 40 year old Get fish. the hell out of here. Walter? Yeah. Dude, that might be my favorite fish I've ever seen in my entire life. Everybody loves Walter. Dude, Walter got the bent up back. He's old and over the hill. Oh my god, he's killer. 40 years old. Jesus. Oh dude, this is so rad. This is so oh. rad. Wow. A Ginrin Sorgoi. Oh man, this is so killer. But there's a lot of weirdness Dude, in there. Dude, who cares? This is awesome. Oh my god. No more food. Oh wow. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. Look at this view. Wow. Nice yeah. Oh man. Walter, the 40-year-old koi. I'm doing an entire video on his ass. Oh, wow, dude. What is this back here? He's got these sweet little benches and this waterfall. This is why I tweaked my back. I just this is why you tweaked up. your back? <laughs> Picking up Walter or what? No, this, no, this thing? Yeah, this, this is a nice... Huge. I mean, all right, it, so it weighs every bit 800 pounds, all right, dude, right. you maintain this. Give me the spiel on this pond, like how, how it works. Give me, you know, you know the, the, the quick version. Yeah, it. How, how's it roll? Just kind of give okay. me the, 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 the some of the details of it. The first pond Arts has, demand. has a bottom intake. Okay, it comes over here. Okay, and I don't need to see the full, but well, okay. So the bottom intake pump there. It okay. goes through an Ultima filter and back up top. Up top to there. So where's the end? So it ends here and then pumps. Well, that's what I'm saying. So that one, it pulls from the bottom of the pond okay. back up to the same water. Got it. Wall. Got it. This pond has three bottom drains. All right. That feed a network of stuff. Oh here. wow. The vortex, the filter tank. There's some brush chambers. One external pump pulls from all three of these bottom drains and then runs those two waterfalls. The water's low, so something's sucking air. That's why it's not flowing really full blast. Wow. And then there is a skimmer that this skimmer, the pump that goes through the skimmer is what puts water back up top. So this pump, the, the pump that pulls through the skimmer is really the only one that's running the systems mixing the water. And 
like I said, this pond's a couple inches low. It's How been, deep is this? This is about five feet. Four feet. Wow, I want this. And then you can see the bottom when I the want drains. This. It's fairly clear. I'm in. But there's bears keep, you see where that yellow one's eating? Yeah. That fold of the rubber, a bear keeps getting in there and it chews that fold. Get and that's, out of here. Yeah, and that's letting a little water get out of there. You can see I have that yeah. metal clip when I just did a repair, but. Oh my goodness. Bears driving me crazy. Oh, dude. Um, oh, this is so badass, dude. That bench, we talked about that bench. That thing is sweet. That bench is sweet. Isn't that nice? Yeah, that's cool. That I love the planter on the side of it, too. Yeah. It'll hold its own at any national yeah. park. Dude, these are killer, man, killer. Any uh, any other, any like favorites you want to point out in here? Like uh, of like what's what or anything? I know that like some of them are bigger and older or whatever, but like these are, give me some, give me ugly. some. I mean, if you want uh, pointing it out, like there, you can look at that long fin asagi. That's a domestic bred koi versus okay. those two asagi were your grade of imported fingerlings. Okay. So if you don't know anything about koi, you should be able to look at that fish and tell it's better blue than the long sure, fin. That sure. kind of shows some of the genetics. Okay. That Jin Matsuba, remember you can see that, that yeah. scar on its side. I remember that fish had an ulcer like eight yeah, years ago. Yeah. I remember I was up here doctoring. What's that this thing. purplish looking guy right That there. little guy there? Yeah. That's a little Garomo. That's a, that's, that's a nice fish. Yeah, that's female, cool. real slow growing, but kind of a full pattern for a Garomo. And, uh, but the, the Momotaro stuff, these are all skinny because the homeowner's not here much, and I think they, they're not on a huge routine. I should try to feed them more. A little later in the day, I'll show you Karashi Goy. Nice. Okay, come look at the Ginrin Karashi. This is a nice fish. The Ginrin Karashi? That little one that just ate. The little that, guy yeah, in there? That was... That's a ball of... No, which one? That one eating there on the right side. It's the goldish one? Mango colored with a little glitter scale. Yeah. It doesn't look like much. That's, that's that mango fish. one right here? No, that one over there. That one, got it. Away. That one. What about it? It's a Ginrin Karashi Goy. It's young. That fish is going to get huge. Um, How huge? What's huge? You, you'll see Four, later. Okay. <laughs> I'll show you a very young Karashi Goy. Oh, that's a cool long fin, even though they're not the... Wow, dude. Yeah, then that fish is... So, so old. The homeowner before these current homeowners had koi, and the he was friends with the guy that founded the Charlotte Koi Club. That's how he got into nice. koi. And so his friend kind of used this pond as a dumping ground. Like, that's where uh, Walter came yeah, from. Yeah. When he wants to thin his pond, he'd <laughs> give those fish to Joe. Joe dumps them in here, and yeah. I'm the one left holding the bag of all hey. the old skanky fish yeah, coming together, bringing well, all their yeah. cooties. And, well... You know, Whatever, and anyway, yeah. that long fin, that white long fin is, that's a really old fish, too. Wow. Um, Crazy, dude. Crazy. And that one there, eating that gold one, that was born in this pond. I found him hatched out in the skimmer vault, and he grew up, and so that's a, that's a home run. This one came in with the other Heisei. It was a pair of Momotaro. Those kind of shrunk over the years. There's, you know, dude, I'll take a koi dumping ground any day of the week. I know you don't, you don't want but that. Dude, <laughs> I mean, this is crazy though. I love how it's just like some baller pond that just they yeah, like let them out. Like I know we're gonna there. see different stuff, but that was still. the Tancho Sanke where the Tancho has went right, away, right, right. and there's just a lot of a lot of weirdness with ponds over time, which any experienced yeah. koi keeper starts to know and learn. But wow. Um, no, I'm not going to show the back of their house too much. This is, oh, I don't know. well, I don't know somebody's house. But the pool is pretty killer, though. I'll show you guys this again. I can chill out here. And then right here. You saw the view up there. Yeah, oh yeah, I walked up there and got the view. Wow. We're right here. We're a little less than 3,000 feet. Elevation. Less than 3,000 feet. My mountain land out in Swain County goes up to 4,600 feet. Wow, that's, that's what I'm cool. Saying. If you had a little more time, we're kicking around. We can go up, upwards this. 6,684 feet. Nice. This is Asheville's mountainous. Yeah, that's people, cool. People think of North Carolina, they think of the ocean. They don't realize it's some western so thick in the mountains. I got to enjoy these myself without holding the camera. Tank on, everybody. Check the videos out at the end. Later.